Hey Gemini. I hope you had a great week last week. This reading is going to be possibly for next week. It could be, uh, it's going to be timeless. So whenever you look at it, you look at it and here we go. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, these are the collector crystals that I picked collectively that I feel like every Zodiac is kind of going through right now. Selenite is about cleansing stuff out. It's about getting rid of the old, bringing in the new, starting a new cycle, um, fool's gold is about protecting yourself, making sure that you are dispelling negative energy, making sure you're not allowing back in negative energy and you're just attracting positive to you. Gold stone is a, an abundant stone. So it's a, it's an ambitious stone. So it's about motivating you to make prosperity, abundance for yourself, calling from within to make sure you're doing exactly what you need to be doing for yourself, where you're making sure that you're going forward, making sure that you have your eye on the prize, you know? And Amethyst is about tapping into your intuition, calling your spirit guides, calling your ancestors, asking for answers, praying for yourself. I think a lot of people have a hard time praying for themselves because they find it to be selfish if they're not praying for somebody else. But there is nothing wrong with praying for yourself. So that way you can propel forward. If you are at your optimal, then guess what? You're going to be at your optimal for others as well. So there is nothing wrong with asking for good things in your life. There's nothing wrong with you getting rid of negative things in your life. And I was also called to this pendulum. I actually made this pendulum. It is available for sale on Etsy. Um, it is black tourmaline with the rainbow obsidian. If you're interested, it is listed on Etsy with some other pendulums. And black tourmaline is all about protection. So is black obsidian. And rainbow obsidian so it's just really about protecting your energy making sure nothing gets in that's going to discourage you from moving forward getting rid of the negative energy that you need to get rid of is very important so we're gonna move these to the side so that way we can go ahead and have a little room for the cards so I am tapping into my higher self and my spirit guides to tap into your higher self and your spirit guides. So I can bring you the messages that you need to hear for today or for this week coming up. Okay, spirit, what messages do you have for my Gemini babies? This one wanted to come out, so we're taking it. This one came out sideways, so we're going to take it upright. We have the Five of Wands in reverse so far with the Queen of Pentacles upright. When they come out sideways like that and they kind of spin, that tells me that they should be in the opposite position. And it came out, you know, um, it did come out in reverse. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Three of Cups in reverse. And we have the Seven of Swords. Let's take one more. The Magician. Okay. 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 So already with the Queen of Pentacles energy, I feel like you are probably being very goal oriented right now. Like you're looking at your, you might be looking at your finances. You might be looking at a new job. You might be looking at, um, Prosperity, abundance, you know, you're standing in that energy of taking care of that. Um, but 
with the five of wands in reverse, I feel like there could be, you might be narrowing down your choices. Um, there could be a little bit of a struggle, some, some things not coming to focus for you, but I do feel like it's going to come to focus with the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, I also feel like with the Six of Swords, you are, you know, bringing forward success. I do feel like you're going to have a bit of a struggle of bringing things into focus. Like maybe you have too many options or maybe you don't have enough options to where, you know, you're trying to make something work. Like, how am I going to make this work? How am I going to get this together? But the Queen of Pentacles is going to bring that together for you. And, you know, you are definitely going to get to where it is that you want to be. Um, divine timing. I just heard that. Like, Spirit just literally said that. Divine timing. So... I do feel like you are, um, I do feel like you're definitely going to be successful. Now, the three, the three of cups in reverse, I do feel like, um, you know, you might have, once again, a little bit of a problem. I don't see it like as a problem problem. I see it more as a, I need to find a resolution for this. Like this could be a problem in the future or it could be something that could bring me a problem. And you're trying to find resolution for it. You're trying to find a conclusion. Um, it might be open-ended, something that's open-ended that you need to tie, you need to tie up. Um, you need to tie the ends up. So, the Seven of Swords right here, you know, it's about bringing your skills up to the table. Um, determination. You having determination to figure this out for yourself. You know, having determination to make sure that this Queen of Pentacles is coming forward with that energy and you figuring out the the kinks of it like you're figuring out like little things that you need to to make it successful um so make sure that you're finding the right purpose as to what you are trying to do Make sure you're you're doing it for the right reasons. Like really contemplate what your reasons are. The magician card, you know, that's the magician card is actually my favorite. Um The magician card is is really about you can have anything you want. Like you are alchemizing anything you want. And, you know, it, it's you standing in your shadow, sh uh, your shadow, you might be standing in your shadow, but it's standing in your power and showing your own self-control and your determination. Um, you're being inspired right now. It really is about you recognizing and acknowledging your own gifts and, you know, you using your own intuition and your power as well. So it's, it's really important that you do tap into yourself and, you know, you're finding your answers. You're doing what you need to do. I feel like you're going to be successful with whatever this is about. I totally feel like you're going to be successful. And whatever this is about, you're just having to work out the kinks. You're having to work out certain things of, 
you know, can I unbend this and can I make this right? And I really feel like that you're able to. And if one, one road doesn't work, the magician is all about doing a different road. So it's like, tweak it a little bit more, you know? There's one, the spirit just said, there's more than one path to get to grandma's house. <laughs> So just make sure that you know that there's one more than one path that you can do and don't give up on what it is that you're trying to do as long as that is what is in your heart. Okay, we're going to get some musician oracle messages if I can fucking shuffle. Okay, spirit, what music oracle messages do you have? For my lovely Geminis. What messages do you have for my Gemini spirit? We have Debbie Harry. We have Billie Holiday. We have Dolly Parton. We have Maria Callis. Johnny Cash. Let's take one more. Joni Mitchell. Okay. So, Debbie Harry says, Fools mistake their flesh for plastic. It's not enough to be beautiful. You need to know how beautiful, how to be beautiful. Stay open to new things and you will never stagnate. This goes to tell me that you do have more than one road. You do have more than one option. You're trying to tweak it out. You're trying to figure out how you're going to get from point A to point B. And just know that there's more than one way. And you just have to pick the one that is right for you. Billie Holiday. If you are going to play, play with your whole soul. You have no understudy. Sometimes losing beats winning. I think this goes along with whatever little snafus you're going to have. Make sure you're learning the lessons from it. Because life without the lessons is just life. You know? You need to take the lessons and make sure that you're appreciating those lessons and know that the little snafus that happen, it's so that way you can learn through whatever it is that you're going through. Dolly Parton. The higher the heels, the closer to heaven. Caution will get you nowhere. The most precious diamonds are sometimes disguised as rhinestones. That is like the perfect message. Do not give up. Make sure you're taking that risk for yourself. Don't give up. It doesn't matter what's, what's happening with the little snafus. Don't give up. If it's something in your heart of hearts, you got to follow it. Maria Callas. Compromise is the enemy of perfection. Befriend your inner serpent. You cannot survive on sensation alone. Make sure you're following your dreams, Gemini. Follow those dreams, Johnny Cash. Making the right enemies is as important as making the right friends. Heaven or hell, it's up to you. Darkness is your friend. That tells me you need to dig within deep. You need to dig within and find that answer for yourself. Joni Mitchell. Learn to write in your own blood. Some things need confessing. Others are better left unsaid. Never lose sight of the... Oh, that's... If I could, like, read. I was going to say miracles, but that would have made sense, too. But she said, never lose sight of the miraculous. Don't lose sight of what you have your sight on. We're going to pull a few more cards. And then we're also going to pull some love messages. Okay, Spirit, what other messages do you have for 
for my lovely Geminis. Spirit, what other messages do you have for my Geminis? Rejection. You might be scared of rejection right now. When you feel like you're scared of rejection or, you know, don't be scared of something going wrong. Don't give up. Make sure that you are trying again and again and again. Anxiety. So you have the rejection and the anxiety cards coming out. Make sure you're resting. Cleansing yourself. But you get to that fucking movement again. So, we're going to pull one more. <laughs> get rid of that anger. <laughs> Stop poking your lip out. Okay, so, I feel like with these cards, you are you are having the anxiety of feeling rejected. Um, whatever snafus might be going on in your situation, you don't take your lessons as a rejection. Don't take it as a rejection. Look at it as something that can heal you and propel you forward. Sleep on it. Sleep on some ideas. You know, um, making sure that you're getting plenty of rest. Make sure you are rejuvenated and you have a clear mind. And, you know, let the answers come to you. Sometimes you need to stop seeking answers and let the answers come to you. Try to meditate. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse your soul. Make sure, you know, I don't know if you like sage, maybe that's your thing, maybe it isn't, but a good long hot shower does the same thing. A good long hot bath does the same thing. So make sure you're cleansing yourself, meditating, clearing your mind, but don't give up and get that movement going again. You have to keep trying. And even if you keep falling off, keep that moving and keep your anger at bay. You know, anger is a sense of loss. So it's like if you feel like you are angry or you feel like you're losing something, just know that you can get back up on that horse and you can still make it yours. You just have to do it a different way. Don't lose sight of that. Don't lose sight of what your hopes and your dreams are. Whatever it is that you're trying to go for. We're going to pull some love messages just in case you are relating this message to love. And even if you're not relating it to love, who can't use a couple of love messages, right? This could be from your higher self to yourself. This could be from your loved one that you're in separation from or your loved one that you're not in separation from. It could be from your ancestors. It could be from your angels. It could be, you know, from whoever you feel the message is from, however it pertains to you. Use your intuition and you'll know before I do <laughs> okay spirit what love messages do you have for my lovely Gemini's what love messages do you have for my Gemini's Gonna take that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Those are the ones that we are picking. Here's the first one. Let me make sure it's not. Only time will tell. Give it time. Give it time. Let it marinate. Give it time. Make sure you keep trying, but make sure you give it time to also grow. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Don't focus too much on, on the materialistic stuff. Focus on what you have. Focus on what your goals are. Focus on... You know, don't forget who is supporting you and don't forget who is standing next to you. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception. 
and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. That could be why that anger came out. You might be holding some kind of resentment or you could, for whatever. It's good to let that go. Whoever you think about when that card came up, if you are holding any kind of animosity, try to heal it and try to let it go. And yes, it's easier said than done, but be aware of it so that way you can heal. Appearance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must... I said appearance. What the fuck? I can't read. Okay. Acceptance <laughs> is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Only change what you can control. Yes, you can try, try again, but what is it that you're trying to change versus what you can actually change? What is it you're trying to change that you can't control versus what you're trying to change that you can't control is what I'm getting at. Just making sure that you're keeping your mind on exactly what it is that you can control. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Take it how it resonates, Gemini. Take it how it resonates. So that's the reading I have for you for this week. If you like it, please like, share, subscribe. If you're interested in my Etsy store, please visit the link that's down below. If you're interested in booking a reading, once again, please visit the link that is listed down below. And I'm sending you so much love, light, and protection and healing, motivation, everything that you need to get through this week. And I will talk to you soon. Thank you for listening and you have a great day. Take care.